Let's take a look at our district wins. It was a special night for veterans and Lee County students during the annual Pride and Patriotism held at the Barber V. Mann Performing Arts Hall. 45 students representing 10 local public schools were a featured part of the Southwest Florida Youth Symphony. Many thanks to all of the junior ROTC delegations and the sign language students from Fort Myers High School. Hey, let's give a nice round of applause for 7th grade student Melissa Herrera of Lexington Middle School. Melissa competed for the USA Judo Infantile Team at the Pan American and South American Championship recently held in Argentina. She brought home the bronze medal for 11 and 12 year olds. You have made us so proud, Melissa. The East Lee County High School Fire Academy spent the day with the Lehigh Acres Fire Department Sea Shift. These students can now apply the practical aspect of what they have learned in the classroom over the last six weeks. Okay, it was all smiles at Gateway Elementary School that celebrated teachers and staff with their happy cart. Pictured left to right are school counselor Sherry St. John, along with kindergarten teacher Rosa Ortiz. Once a month, the happy cart pays a visit to every employee at Gateway Elementary with all kinds of sweets, treats, and liquid refreshments. Did you know that Fort Myers Middle Academy is home to the multi-county deaf and hard of hearing program? This year, we are partnering with many former students from this program who have gone on to Fort Myers High School. These students are coming back to volunteer and get required high school service hours. Special thanks to one of our teachers, Miss Bryan, for making this happen. What a performance by Brittany Shin of Ida Baker High School. The freshman golfer shot a three under par 141 to become the girls class 2A state champion. Brittany credits not only her father, but a practice regiment that includes 500 swings a day. Okay boys and girls, don't get that all over the walls. Students in Mr. Gentile's class at Alternative Learning Center West worked on an experiment with physical and chemical changes using borax, water, and food coloring to make their very own goo. It was a perfect day for a bicycle rodeo at Calusa Elementary School with Mr. Mitch of All Children's Hospital. Students were shown how important properly fitted helmets are and learned safe bike maneuvers. Thanks for visiting us, Mr. Mitch. Mmm, something smells good in here. These students at Gulf Middle School have a reason to be excited as the school now offers a new home ec elective. All of the participating students really learn their way around a kitchen, including cooking and cleaning. Don't forget, you can subscribe to Lee Schools TV on YouTube to receive the most up-to-date stories right on your phone or personal computer. Lee Schools TV is available on Comcast Cable Channel 99 and now on CenturyLink Cable Channel 89 or on Twitter. Follow Lee Schools on Twitter and be sure to share your tweets using hashtag LoveLeeSchools.